Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this quick video I will show you how to install the best VPN for Fire Stick, Surfshark. I will then provide some speed optimization tips and explain all the settings to you. The same process will work on Android TV systems as well. Surfshark has come a long way since they launched in 2018 as they are constantly releasing new features and I feel that they are head and shoulders above the other VPN competition. You can read my full unbiased review for Surfshark, which I will link to in the video description. Now to use Surfshark, you must first register and you can do that with the link located in the video description that provides a huge discount. You can also scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet to get this special deal. Surfshark allows you to use their VPN on unlimited devices and provides a no risk 30 day money back guarantee. Now once you have your account, all you have to do is hover over search, move down, click the search box, and then type in Surfshark. And you'll notice after you type in the first few letters, it should appear in the list below the keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and you're gonna see it right here, Surfshark VPN. I'm gonna click that, and then click download. And if you're using an Android TV device, simply go into Google Play Store, move up to the top, click search, type in Surfshark, click the Surfshark shortcut, and then click install. Now all the features and tips that I cover in this video for Surfshark on Fire Stick will also apply to those of you with Android TV devices. All right, Surfshark has been installed. I'm gonna click the home button. I'm not gonna open it just yet. I want to add Surfshark to my main menu here on the home screen, and I wanna place it in the front due to the fact that I will be using this on a regular basis. So I'm gonna to go to the end of the list here, and I'm gonna click the shortcut that will take me to the screen that shows all of my applications. I'm gonna highlight Surfshark hold down on the select button of my remote for a few seconds. And now I'm going to use the arrows on my remote, place it where I want it, click the select button again, and that's going to drop it into place. Now when I go back to the home screen, it's at the beginning of the list. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Surfshark. Now you should have already registered with the discount link in the video description and you should now have a username and password. So I'm gonna click the login button. Now one of the many cool features of Surfshark is this ability to log in if you are already logged in with another application. You're gonna notice here on the left hand side, if you already have Surfshark, let's say running on your Windows PC, you can easily go to settings, my account, and then enter the login code that will just automatically log you in on this device. So that's a nice time-saving feature. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead, input the email address that I use to register for Surfshark with, and then I'm going to put in my password that I got when I registered for the service. Okay, I've typed in my login credentials. Now I'm gonna click the login button. Okay, I'm now logged into Surfshark. And right away, you're gonna see a very nice looking user interface. Now, to get started quickly, you could simply just move over to the right side of the screen and click Quick Connect. And you're gonna see when I do this, it automatically connects to United States Chicago. That's the closest server to my physical location, so more than likely, that's going to give me the best speeds. You'll see in the green box it says connected and my identifying IP address has changed. Okay, I'm gonna click the disconnect button just show you some of the features within Surfshark. You're gonna see three different options here in this location screen. Now we can easily connect to the fastest location by clicking this button, nearest country by clicking this, and then you're gonna notice we have all kinds of different locations around the world that we can connect through. And something else you're going to notice is we can easily mark 
these server locations as a favorite by clicking the star. Static IP option allows you to connect to a server that will always give you the same IP address every time you connect. Now, some applications may require that you use the same IP address or maybe your employment requires that and this will give you that feature. I do not suggest using this unless you have a special reason to do so. Whenever we switch or change IP addresses, that actually strengthens our security. And then multi-hop enables you to connect through two different VPN servers. Now, most of the time, these are located in different countries. For example, you can make your VPN connection even more secure and private by first connecting to a VPN server in one country and then a second VPN server in another. Now these are features that we do not see very often in other VPN applications and another reason why Surfshark is the best VPN for Firestick. Now if I move over here and click the features button you're gonna see we have a few options here. Clean web blocks ads, trackers, and malware when the VPN is connected. I am going to turn that on. This is very handy for those of you who use the various free streaming websites for movies, TV shows, and sports. You know that those are riddled with ads and this here will block them. Bypasser is the same as split tunneling. However, Surfshark takes it one step further and gives you two different options to do this. You can either select the applications that you don't want protected by the VPN, or you can select applications to route through the VPN. Let's say that I have one application that I want to protect with the VPN. I would turn this on, move down, click apps selected. I would just click the search button. Let's say I want to protect this application here. I would search for it, move down, put a check mark next to it, and that is the only application now that's going to be protected by the VPN. And then this top option here allows you to choose applications that you don't want protected by the VPN. So maybe there's a few applications that don't work well with a VPN and you want to protect all the others, you can easily come in here and choose those. And now we're in the settings menu. We can automatically connect to the VPN with this option here. This one here is extremely popular, Kill Switch. Many VPN applications on the Fire Stick show this option, however, they do not work. Surfshark is the only VPN where I've seen the kill switch working on both Fire Sticks and Android TV devices. This will disable the internet if for some reason your VPN is ever disconnected. In my opinion, this is one of the best features that Surfshark has implemented. You can change your VPN protocol here. We're currently on WireGuard. It will automatically try to determine the best protocol for your situation. And I'll show you how we can tweak these here in a little bit to maybe get better speeds. Using smaller IP packets should improve compatibility with some routers and mobile networks. This is already on by default. App settings, provide anonymous app usage data. I'm personally going to turn that off. The reason I use a VPN is to protect my privacy, and I don't want to be sending any type of information over the network. Same with send crash report. I'm going to turn that off as well. Diagnostics. If you ever have any problems with your application, the support team at Surfshark may instruct you to use this tool here to send them information about your problems. Within my account, you're going to find an enter login code section. Now I mentioned this earlier, when you install Surfshark 
onto other devices such as your phone, tablet, or computer, when you first go to sign in, it's going to give you a login code. And the awesome thing about that is you can take that login code and input it on any device such as this that's already logged in. And once you do that, you're going to be automatically logged into that device. A nice time-saving feature by Surfshark. And then you're also going to notice on this screen, it shows when your current plan expires. All right, now I'm gonna provide you with a few tips and tricks on how to squeeze the best download and upload speed out of Surfshark. Now there are two main areas within Surfshark that we can change that may affect download and upload speed when the VPN is active. Now before we dive into this, it's important first to see what kind of speeds we're currently getting with the default settings. So I'm going to move over and click Quick Connect. You'll see that this does connect to the Chicago server. And typically the way that works is it's going to connect you to the VPN server closest to your physical location. They just assume that that's going to be the fastest server. Okay, I'm currently connected to Chicago. I'm gonna click the home button on my remote. I want to test the download and upload speed now. And I'm going to be using the free Analyti speed test for that. You can install this through the Amazon App Store or through Google Play. So I'm gonna launch that. And really the main thing we're looking for here is download speed. That's what's going to affect how well our various streams play on the Fire Stick or Android TV system. And you're gonna see here I'm getting 65 megabits per second and I'm checking off every box in that chart there that shows what I am capable of playing on this device. I can play 1080p, 4K, I can game with 4K, I can even play 8K videos with this type of speed. Anything higher than this will not help me whatsoever. So don't get too hung up on your download speeds. But just for a reference point, we have 65 and 56. So let's try to improve that a little bit. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go into Surfshark. I'm gonna disconnect. And the first thing I want to do is go into settings, VPN settings. And I want to go into protocol. You're gonna see I'm currently on WireGuard protocol. They've determined that that's the best for my situation. Now what I suggest doing is going through each one of these and testing your download speeds. And if for some reason you get faster speeds with any of these other options, go ahead and choose that option as your default connection protocol. Now on other VPN services that I've used in the past, this one here for my network performs the best, OpenVPN TCP. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that. So I'm gonna choose OpenVPN TCP, and now I'm going to move over, rather than clicking Quick Connect, I want to click United States Chicago, because I wanna test it on the same server that I just used for the previous test. All right, I'm connected. We'll go back to the home screen. Go back into Analyti. Download speeds are much lower. I'm not gonna even finish this test. Go back into Surfshark. Disconnect. Go back into Protocol. And I'm gonna change this back to WireGuard. I know that WireGuard is the fastest for my network and internet service provider. But again, I would suggest going through each of these and testing the download speed. Your scenario may be different. Okay, once you've determined which protocol works best for you, now we can start trying to connect to different locations to see if that does anything. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen of Surfshark. And typically, you're gonna get better speeds when you're connecting to servers closest to your physical location. So for me, Chicago should be the fastest. However, Detroit is fairly close to me. So I'm gonna try that now. 
I'm going to click United States Detroit, wait for it to connect. I'm connected. I'll go back to the home screen, launch Analyti. And as you will see here, I'm getting much higher download speed than I was getting with Chicago. And Chicago was listed as the fastest connection for me. So it's extremely important that you go through and you test these different variables so you can get the best speed. So 101 megabits per second, I believe when I was connected to Chicago was 65. So that's a huge increase. Back into Surfshark, I'm gonna click disconnect and I am going to mark Detroit as a favorite. Now there's something else really cool that we can do. I can move back over to the left side, go into settings, go into VPN settings, quick connect location. It's currently set on fastest location, which Surfshark tries to determine on their own, but we've just figured out that that doesn't work. So I'm gonna choose fastest location and I'm going to choose United States Detroit. So now, whenever I come over here and click Quick Connect, it's going to connect to United States Detroit. Another awesome feature by Surfshark. Now, you can definitely go through other locations within this list to see if you get better speeds. This may take a little bit of time, but if you are having problems with slow download speeds once you connect to Surfshark VPN, this is the best way to solve that problem. Guys, after going through this tutorial, hopefully you will see now why we are now considering Surfshark as the best VPN for Fire Stick and Android TV. Overall, we think it's the best VPN on the market today. And keep in mind, you can use their service on unlimited devices and they do provide support for pretty much any device you can think of. Uh, Android phones, tablets, iOS, Mac, Windows, routers, you name it, you can install Surfshark onto it. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to read more about the features that Surfshark has to offer, be sure to take a look at my unbiased, in-depth review that I will link to in the video description. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. Guys, have an awesome day and thanks for following Troy Point.